Hey guys, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. And in this episode, I guess we're throwing down with those bandits outside of the church grounds. And uh, yeah, we got to get our students ready for a real fight. Last time we had a mock battle again, but this one is for real. Our students can die. So it's time to teach. And here's the deal, guys. I've been doing a lot of homework and studying how the crud to play this game. There's a lot of tutorials, there's a lot to take in, but one thing I did notice which was super helpful is changing the goals of your students. Currently, Dorothea, perfect example here, she really wants to study swords and reason. And hey, you do you, sis, but here's the deal. Unless there's some like class further down the line that wants to use magic and swords, I don't really want you to learn that. So instead, we're gonna be focusing on reasons and faith. Now, she doesn't really like Faith too much, but there are those three stars under that menu, right? I don't know exactly what that does, but I think once we get enough points into Faith in this example, she will learn a new skill, which is super sick. So, we're going to be changing some of the goals of our party member. Actually, no, crud, that's pretty much all I'd ever want. Um, Petra might... Mm, I kind of want to make her a Myrmidon, so I'm not really going to focus on anything other than the sword, but, uh, yeah, authority can work. Heavy armor, not really so much. I haven't really decided who I want to make a Pegasus Knight or anybody flying, but I know Ferdinand, definitely, I want him to have some access to... Where is it? So definitely Lance's, because he's great at that, and riding. The sooner we get his riding proficiency, the sooner he can actually get a mount, which I imagine is gonna be great because more movement speed the better pretty much everybody else and eh, we're doing fine on we have a lot of people specializing in authority which I believe interacts with your gambits but uh, let's instruct now another thing I learned which it's directly said in the manual if someone's not motivated to learn you're not gonna get a lot out of it so instead we're gonna be focusing on some of the characters we haven't really been uh, prioritizing like Dorothea so we're gonna give her so her rank with uh, healing or faith is kind of bad right now and the issue is she's not really great at that but I do specifically want her to get better so we're gonna be spending a couple of points oh we got a good roll all right let's praise her good job girl you're quite the motivator professor oh stop you're quite the t oh, student all right and uh maybe one point in that Everything passively oh god we can actually do more sessions so I'm just gonna spam uh face for the rest of this yes you gotta start what does that mean I frankly have no idea but hey she used to have zero stars, now she has one. Progress. Moving on! Uh, let's do Caspar as well. I believe he... Okay. So we specialize in swords, which is why that, like, you know, arrow pointing up thing is right there. But I kind of want him to get his expertise with hand-to-hand -hand combat to, like, the next rank. So if we get that here, that'd be pretty... Oh, we're, like, so close. I didn't want to spend another point on this, but... Ah, might as well, since he's Nailed. kind of his strength. And skill up! Now we can use better uh, fist weaponry. We don't actually have that, so we need to purchase it. But hey, we learned new combat art, which is this to the tip. dope. I don't actually know what that one is. I don't really have that because <laughs> I don't really ever. I haven't gone like ahead in gameplay. I've only gone behind to like further experiment with stuff. So uh, for Ferdinand, let's yeah, let's focus on his writing a bit. Ooh, he has the stars too on this that's weird interesting um but yeah we'll put a couple points in that i don't really i don't have any lances that are c rank or higher so i guess doing that wouldn't be too handy maybe he can get smash if he keeps working on axes that'd be a good combat art to have but uh outside of that um i believe our group tasks are still the same i'm pretty sure they're gonna keep doing those as long as i don't move the menu but uh yeah so Learn! Why aren't y'all learning? Learn faster! Yeah, we got people to kill! <laughs> and uh, the Saints' days today, there will be a hymn recital at the cathedral. Would you like to participate? Uh, I guess we can do that. I don't see any downside to it. Unless this would, like, eat up something else. Dunno! Oh, sweet, we got a... Uh... I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings, too. <laughs> That's how I did choir. <laughs> Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. All right, Fernand, you, you ain't that great. Was <laughs> a little more humility, if you will, but uh, getting Linhart. Oh, that gave me a professor level. Some uh, faith points. I'm definitely down with that. But uh, gosh, the 
Wait, is it the 25th or the 31st? I'm pretty sure it's the 31st. Amazing, no? Dude, you're... God, he's so full of himself. <laughs> oh, he's talking about this. But dang, yeah, you're right. God. And this is passively also giving points between, uh... What's it called? Ferdinand and Bernie. So that's good. And oh, snap. Edelgard got some new stuff. And so did Hubert. Bro, we learned new magic. Meyer B. Okay. And rally magic. Seems simple enough. Nice. How long will this take? Wait, is that offensive magic? Ooh, Linhart got some win stuff. Okay. Stronger. So everybody's getting some new toys to play with. I like that. And uh, Dorothy is also learning some new faiths, which is totally cool with me. But, um, wait, Darty. Oh, yeah. This is the first time we've seen this menu, I think, this episode. So I want to check out the certifications. Yes. Okay. We can promote uh, Byleth. I'm going to do that before we head into the next map. I say this literally every single map, but I don't want to use him too terribly. Ooh. This is cool. I like the old outfit a bit better, but you know, we gotta we gotta change it up a little bit. So Myrmidon, alright. We have a 100 percent chance to pass it. We also have Soldier, which to do that we need a better lance skill. We have ooh. <laughs> I like how every 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 single outfit he has has a hint of pink. I kinda like that about him though. So we got the fighter and the monk. Monk is uh, definitely not on the table. 25% chance to pass. So I'm going to go with the guarantee and see what skills we can potentially get from the Myrmidon class. I just want to state, though, I have no idea what I'm doing. Literally. Ugh, crud, is this multiple choice? No, it's... Oh, wait, I passed anyways. Yay. Is anyone even surprised? A new path to tread. Heck yeah. He changed the class yet. Yeah. <laughs> or the actual questions on the test? I can only wonder. How do you pick up a sword? A, with your hand. B, with your feet. But uh, I guess someone could do that. <laughs> I think I were watching an anime when I was a little kid with some like guy with no arms and he fought with his feet. It was weird. I think it was Yu Yu Hakusho. I don't freaking know. Anyways, no one else uh, can promote because they're not level five yet, which sucks. But that, uh, I imagine, will give us access to new skills and stuff. Ooh, we can go marketplace. Oh, crud. I need, a, I need to see what I want to buy first. Italian get oh we don't got that yet dump okay we got uh thought Anna would be here feels bad so I want Caspar to also ooh Iron Shield that'd be and eh, we got cash to blow I might as well buy that wait it says we have three in stock all right maybe I don't want that actually so we have some door keys no weapons though I guess that'd be at the uh, I think there's ar okay not armory or blacksmith but armory all right so let's try and get him some where the cru ooh steel gauntlets. Okay, okay. Oh, that's the stock for this shop. Gotcha. So he needs the fist skill to be a D, which we actually just got. So perfect. We'll buy this for him, and now he can use those weapons too. Nice. And uh, outside of that, I might as well. I kind of want to focus on Caspar and Dorothy in this episode because they are by far the most behind everyone else. But, uh, oh, they don't have that here, actually. Oh, dude, we should get a, um, like a ranged weapon for Byleth. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's get a um, iron bow. I doubt there's gonna be flying units, but always having some, like a like a just chance to attack from far away might actually make a big difference. I don't think I need anything else for anybody. Maybe upgrade Bernard. Nah, Bernie's thing is fine. Oh, the durability doesn't recover actually, so I gotta keep that in mind. How is uh, yeah, Edelgard's. Uh, axe isn't doing so hot. I know item management so fun, but no, <laughs> I just want to make sure. I get all this down, so we'll buy that, and uh, yeah, I think that's good. Now let's head back to the classroom, y'all. We can't, can we rest? Yeah, we could. Select rest to give your house a break. All right. Don't want to do that. How was our, oh, we can select other professors. Sick. But I want to teach my kids. The dump. Gosh, wait, ain't I a kid too? <laughs> I guess I am, so Alois, oh, he can train us too. Awesome. So that'd be really handy, because we have a lot of people working on axes right now, myself included, but uh, Oh man, I don't want to do it, but man, Manuela, all right, teach us what's up. I feel like this is the best thing to do because we need better healing magic right now. And she's kind of great at that. She's not great at a lot. At, okay, I'm sorry I keep making fun of her. I I like to imagine, dude, no one showed up to her class. Holy dumb. All right, so that's Glory cool. Of progress. Oh, sweet. We learned faiths. And she learned sword skills, even though I didn't want her to. But oh, well, what are you going to do? Oh no, really, bro? The match is not the match. We're literally about to kill some people, but Mercedes, it's birthday. Nice. But the fight's coming soon. Crud, Perfect dude. timing, Professor. I've just received word from the knights. They've located the bandits. 
It seems they have them cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. I can't wait to get started. I'll strike down those heinous thieves before they know what hit them. Caspar, you know you about to fight like real people, dude. You're a little too gung-ho about this, man. Charge ahead if you must, Caspar. Just do not put the rest of us in danger. I'm going back. I won't be of any help anyway, and I don't want to get hurt. Don't worry, Burn. It's just some bandits. We'll have no trouble at all. Eh, don't get ahead of yourselves. Unfounded optimism isn't a great strategy. Let's just get this over with. There is nothing to get over. We will work with each other to achieve our mission. Yeah, well said. Seem excited to get out there. I'm not sure, but nah, but come on. We're doubting our, ourselves. How are our students gonna go in calmly to kill a bunch of dudes? We got this, guys. Come on. It's time, Professor. Give us our orders and let's move out. Legit? I thought we had one more day to prep. Guess not. Hope Manuela was the uh, right choice there. Like I like to do is just get like magic taken care of and then oh no we're just straight up ready to go. All right, so we could. Oh man, I really wish I got Edelgard to level five. Dump. I mean she'll get it this fight, but what are you gonna do? So straight off the bat, Red Canyon dominance. Let's go beat up some bandits, y'all. Woo! Red Canyon dominance. So, nah. we are taking children into battle, are we? Yeah. I'm not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... Uh. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. Miller's Turnwheel makes a return to the Fire Emblem series in the form of the Divine Pulse. Press ZL to rewind time, but you can only go back so far. Hopefully, we never have to do that. Let's see. Do we have any... Nope. Zero supports that we can do. I'm kind of curious, though. Can we change the positions of our party before the fight actually starts? I don't see an option for that. Can we maybe... Oh, well, we can see the whole map, so that's good. Maybe with that? Eh, nope. Doesn't look like a crud, but... Oh man, that's a lot of dudes. Nine versus sixteen. Oh well, they ain't gonna die themselves. Let's get it. Begin the battle. So this is the Red Canyon. A ruin of sorts by the look of it. Let's end this quickly. The thieves must have been driven back. Be careful or the cornered mice might bite us. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! Professor, I hear there's a back road to the west. Why don't we split up and attack from both the west and the front? If we advance tactfully, we can attack our enemy from both sides. I leave the rest to you. Regardless, we must cross the bridge first. Okay. But like legit, okay, <laughs> there's only one option. We gotta fight back. You could just peacefully surrender. Like I don't, I don't think the church is that evil. I'm still not sure how evil they are. But all right. So, what was she saying about the West? I think this. Ooh, there's a chest. Awesome. So we didn't buy a chest key, but maybe one of these dudes has one. Eh, I guess we'll figure it out eventually. But we gotta fight this guy. Can we like? Oh man, in Awakening you cannot see what the dudes looked like beforehand. Oh well, we gonna do so. Let's just think this through carefully. I kind of just want to analyze. All right, that guy's a bowman. Don't like that. Uh, I'm not going to leave the um, aggro range of everybody on for, like, the whole game. Because I know some people want to see, like, the uh, actual terrain of the map. And, hey, I feel you, bro. So, I got to keep that in mind. This music's a little weird. Wait, so if I equip his um gauntlets, does it actually change his overworld sprite or no? It does! That's awesome! Heck yeah! But, uh... I will get the victory. I was briefly talking last episode about some of the sound design for this game, and I'm not trying to sound like, oh, I know everything about... I legit know barely anything about mixing, like, at all. But I like to imagine, oh, she's going to get attacked twice, though. If I move him here, he can at least counterattack, and we'll heal him up after. But, uh... The Almond Break is in some of the, uh... Which is a very, like, famous, like, rhythm segment, right? In the opening of Powerpuff Girls, it's the main theme, basically. You might have heard of it. That's in one of the battle themes, and that is so untraditional for Fire Emblem. Like, bro, I love that. Wait, why did her thing go down? 
her uh, her units, like the the gambit thing, the battalion. Yeah, that's the word for it. One of the um, triangles went away. Is that because Edelgard is fatigued? I don't know, but sorry. Also, I fa I'm so bad at this. Gambits are right here. Last episode, I was saying, oh man, how do I use gambits? I want to check that out. It was literally right in front of me the whole time. Sorry. Anyway, let's do this. And. Onslaught attack. I don't know exactly. Ooh, that's good damage. 25 might. Holy crud. And we leveled up our battalion. Nice. So the we increased the range of that. Regrettable, but there was no other way. Huh. I guess they're uh, commenting on their first kill, as dark as that is. Uh, yeah, get them, Fernadad. Can he? Okay, we're going to have to use our combat art, but it's fine. We have tons of weapon durability. Money hasn't been an issue at this rate, but... All right, come on. Give us a good level. Uh, are you sure? You don't need magic, dude. These ruffians are no match for a noble like me. Oh, gosh. He is uh, not as compassionate as Lady Edelgard. I don't want to hear Bernie kill anybody, but she needs levels, dude. Uh, okay, so I got to move uh, Dorothea up there a bit. I need to start using this a bit more. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to heal him. Definitely, but... I was also like yesterday, I was thinking about, <laughs> about uh, Petra. And bro, English has got to be the stupidest language. A chicken salad, right? And chicken salad are completely different things. Just think about that for a second, bro. But uh, yeah, we're making our way across the bridge. The Bowman's getting kind of close. I can't use Edelgard as our tank every single fight, but I mean, every other fight is fine. <laughs> I actually want Caspar to get some. Wait, how? What is Caspar's. Defense. Oh, his defense is rock. Yo, get in there. Knock him out, bro. Okay. But uh, we got to get you up there a bit. Is it just me? I'm not trying to be, like, too negative. But, like, I do know that this cursor, kind of weird. Like, it's, like, sticky. I don't know how else to describe it other than that. I Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But, ooh, Linhart actually learned physic, which is good because it's, like, a, a healing skill with a really wide range. Wow. This game is probably going to be kind of easy if we get Physic this early in the game. Oh, God. I hope I don't, like, jinx myself. But, yeah, we can't use... We can't move Bernie up anymore. So, sadly, we got to turtle a little bit. Get through here. But, so far, I'm really, really enjoying this. Oh, his speed isn't that great. But it won't matter because Edelgard's going to attack this guy. I'm, like, thoroughly enjoying all of this because, man, the way they, like intermingle the social aspects and like the actual combat i think his boss because what's it called oh don't go for okay he can't kill anybody even if he does hit us that's fine we can just heal up gosh this gauntlet's actually kind of nice but a fire emblem you know like the old old school games and you know i'm not trying to hate they were just kind of singularly focused whoa we die no matter what bro what i'm getting at is i really like the fact that um What's it called? We kind of have these breaks in between, like, the massive battles. I know last time we literally had another fight, but that one was super easy. There wasn't even, like, plot development. I imagine... Oh, come on, bro. you got to be kidding me. 90% hit rate. He's got 95. Luckily, we have Sothis. We can rewind time if we do miss. <sighs> Caspar, don't miss on me, bro. I could have used Physic. What am I doing? Uh, I'm forgetting all my roots, but... Okay, nothing bad happened. Are all real battles this exciting? Come on, let's get on to the next one. Ugh, dude, you just killed a guy, man. You gotta, you gotta chill, bro. God. All right, but Fernand's got this one. Do we even need it? Yeah. We. I, I don't know how to actually skip battles. I don't want to do it too often. But uh, what's it called? Oh man, this is actually kind of rough. Do we? Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna have to do this. Lady Edelgard will have to kill another guy. Oh, we did. We did a gambit bonus. Okay. But how did I do that? I still haven't figured that out. But that's half the fun of this because. This is almost like a completely different Fire Emblem game, bro. I love this crap. Gosh, but, uh, yeah, let's get these guys up here. Where are, okay. Do I really want to fight this guy or feed that EXP to someone else? I'm not, I'm not too terribly sure. I think I should just kind of let Byleth do his own little thing. Yeah, he can sit in the thicket just to bait that guy out. And then we can either get Bernie to pick him off. We shall see, but really, I just, man... I never thought playing a Fire Emblem game blind would be so much goddamn fun, but I feel like this is the best one to do. I, yeah, we definitely want to, like, feed some EXP into Caspar. My, like, late, late, late game plan with him is he's going to be, like, our heavy infantry. So he's going to have, like, the really heavy armor on, but just be, like, the bane of every 
We stole this treasure. It's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights. What? <laughs> this thing belongs to us because it's ours now, and we will not. Like, bro, what the crud? Oh gosh. There, there goes our mercenaries. I get what? What the crud? He debuffed me? Huh? I thought I could only debuff. What the? This guy's tougher than I thought. Okay. Oh my gosh. We can't move. That's what Onslaught does. Bruh. All right, that's spooky. We gotta, we gotta keep that in mind. Uh, okay, that's not, that's not super terrible. No one else can really reach him though, which is kind of a problem, except for Lady Edelgard. I can't call her that every time, or I'm gonna sound like, uh, he might crit us though. No, don't, don't be dumb. Use, uh, Linhart first. Heal her up with Physic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being extra slow today. I apologize, but what's it called? I don't want to lose. I don't want to have to abuse uh, the Mila turns turn wheel. I need just divine pulse. That's what it's called. Uh, unless I absolutely have to, because I just don't want my students to die. Like, how's the game gonna work? Because it only gives us it only gives us right these many characters, and that's it. Like, and they're so plot integral. Like. What the crud's gonna happen there? But okay, we can definitely get the KO with Dorothea. This is gonna be so much damage, or not damage, but EXP. I, I mean, it was it was kind of both. But yeah, oh man, that wasn't that was hardly any. So get a magic, get a magic. Come on, ooh, that's my girl. I want to be all I can. Get it? Okay. And now she has D and reasons. Oh. Nice. So her spells are gonna get even harder. She got a what? Oh crap. So is making us experience a real battle part of the church's teachings? It's. Kind of gross how his flesh kind of boiled, just saying. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I like that, though. That was never really brought, well, pff, I shouldn't say never. I For, like, for full disclosure, I haven't played every single Fire Emblem. Like, I played it most, if not all. I'm pretty sure. No, I haven't played Shadow Dragon, but I played the original, like, wait, I got that completely wrong. I played the DS one. But not the one that was in only Japanese, because I don't obviously speak Japanese. I ain't no stinking. <laughs> what do you think? I can't hardly master one language. Let's be real about it, guys. But gosh, this is uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Ed Edelgard's advice, cause bro, we could just yeah. There's that guy over there, I guess. But like. Look at all these dudes. We should just go this way. That's way smarter. I'm not gonna. What's it called? Split up my comp that much this time. This come. Oh yeah, that might actually be kind of bad. Wait, she have a combat art that can maybe finish him off? Let's see. Oh, Wrath actually gets us kind of close. Maybe uh, Ferdinand goes one more time. He would die. Let's not do that. Let's get um a combat out from Bernie though, just to like chip him away. This is how you should be using your archers. Okay, she didn't miss. No, she had 100%, so it's not a problem. I'm mean, not gonna lie, the UI though. It's taking some. Yeah, what? A 20% crit. Huh? Hey, not bad. People and beasts are as one. Calm your heart and do not be worried about this killing. Uh, I don't know if that's even good advice. What the crap? Be a little worried. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I remember being a very small child, right? And there's this rat that was inside my grandparents' family's uh, home. I was like really scared of it, obviously, but uh, eventually we killed it. And I remarked, and I was like, dang, man, why couldn't it be a little different for the rat? Like imagine if that was us and my like grandparents were very upset at me. It's like, what the crud are you talking about? It's just a rat. And I was like, I don't know, dude, that stuck with me. Like I have excessive sympathy, which is probably bad because this game is probably going to ruin that, but we shall see or not ruin that, but. It's gonna hurt me emotionally. I'm already attached, dang it. Cause I'm like Hubert. I don't know. He's just kind of meh. I don't really know a lot about the characters yet. I want to know more, but you know. So, oh man, I kind of wanted uh, who has the higher defense stat actually? Oh, they're actually tied between um, Caspar and uh, Fernand. You know, Fernand's a level higher. Hmm. I guess Edelgard can just take on this dude. I wonder when we're gonna start getting skills though. I also got to remember to get that chest. Crud, Dorothea has the key. I might actually pass that on to... Can I trade to you? Should be able to. Or wait, I can just do that on Byleth's turn. Yeah, so let's uh trade. Give me that key, girl. You can have this, I guess. Nice. All right, so <laughs> we got that taken care of. Oh, she's not in range. Crud, I need to do that. All right. How do we want to go about this setup? This is an issue. Can I... Oh, yeah, I can maneuver over this. So definitely him here to knock down... 
These guys are peg. Miasma Delta, I guess, is the symbol there. Surprisingly stronger. What's the difference between these two spells? I mean, Meyer has more uses. And less damage. Interesting. I'll go for the Miasma because we've yet to use him this entire fight, and there's really no downside. It's just kind of getting there so another person could get in. Can we... Oh, I thought I was out of uses for that. I've noticed the, uh, what's it called? Even though, even though I told him to move here, in the actual animation, he just sat right there and attacked. That's kind of peculiar. I don't like it or dislike it. It's just something I noticed. So who is... Okay. Who is not a high level yet? Oh, Bernie's barely fought any... I don't even think she's got a kill yet. Which sounds really disturbing. <laughs> we should work on that right away. But it's, like, true. We, like, kind of need our party to be well-rounded. You feel me? All right. So they're all going for him. They're all, like, physical, which is totally fine by me. I don't want her to get any of that. Let's see. What's this guy got? He's level two. If I Volinari and just sit on this tile, we should be all right. She's a big girl. She's got us. Maybe. I don't know. When they're going to start critting. I think the enemy can't. No, they can't crit yet. Bummer. Oh, man. He barely did anything there. That sucks. Oh, dumb. No! I didn't know he had a bat Oh, crap. I got I to gotta start checking for that. He did disturbance? Again. Crud. I didn't notice the three triangles. Cr Edelgard's in trouble then. That's not good. Ooh. Casper got hit. Oh, no. He's totally fine. <laughs> okay. This is bad. Um, Actually, it's not. Because she doesn't need to move anywhere to just kill you, right? Yeah. There we go. Then we can just physic her. She'll be okay. I hope. Anyway. Ooh. Is it? Her battalion's getting really low, though. Oh, she learned... She learned a skill. Nice. Okay. HP plus... Five, because well it's not because she hit level five how did she get that i guess she just had enough points in the nobility tree maybe i don't think wait why can you not i used all my physics oh my god she might die she's gonna die i'm an idiot oh my god bernie please sa please save her please you gotta oh my gosh guys first episode of the day Ain't looking so good. Oh, thank God for Bernie. Ha! We didn't get her crest of proc, which her crest is OP, dude. If we start stacking, um, what's it called? More dexterity and crit chance on Bernie. She has a chance to attack twice, which could be nuts. But, uh, I don't care if they're stealing. Can I go home? She sounds so scared. God dang it. I don't want these. <sighs> Dude, I hate this game. But I love it. But I hate it. Okay, so. Cr mini crisis averted. Barely, somehow. Uh, God dang it. <laughs> My units are so squishy. I'm Wait, oh, okay. Let's use a gambit. Let's see what gambits we got. So it's just disturbance. Well, we don't really care about that. I imagine those you would, like, save for really, like, bosses, basically. If you could, like, kite the boss around. Using the one. Oh, that's a debuff. Okay, that changes things. Are we gonna get the guaranteed? Oh yeah, we. God, the weapon forecast though, not a fan of, or at least damage forecast. It is the uh, echoes one, if I recall correctly, and that one's not the best. Like it, it shows like, all right, even though you have a hundred percent chance to hit, if you somehow didn't have a hundred percent chance, you would die. But that's like a fictitious scenario because we already know that we were going to kill them. You know, that's my like one serious complaint about that type of system, but we're just moseying on. Oh crap. Did we box him in? Sure hope we did. Oh god, that's a good level. Okay. If we didn't box him in, oh we didn't, crud. I'm gonna have to use the divine pulse. He could die. Oh my gosh. Who are you gonna go for? Oh, he's gonna go for Dorothy. Oh, she's on she's only gonna take a little bit of damage. Alright, that's totally fine. Never mind. Crisis averted. Maybe we could try and bait with there. Nah, not gonna happen. All right, so slowly but surely, moving along. And she got. Uh, I might actually kill the boss with Dorothea. I'm trying to like think about it, because if she can learn both healing magic and like damage, right? She'd be pretty darn good. Okay, so Byleth, uh, he is in timeout mode. He is going to just focus on uh, what's it called? <laughs> Getting the treasure, and that'll be that. Outside of that, he is going to do nothing because I need the. EXP kind of more spread out. God, bro, you you took a lot of beating this episode. I'm sorry, uh, Kaspar. Hopefully next time. Well, he's... Okay, isn't he also leveling up his fist, like, skill while we're doing this? I think so, because that bar 
We just maxed that out, and he... No, actually, I don't, I don't know if that's true, but he's slowly but surely getting more of that, which is very good. Uh, Dorothy doesn't have any training magic he or, uh, not training magic, but <laughs> I don't want to rally magic there. She doesn't have any access to, uh, healing magic yet, so we can't really do that. Just heal her up with Volunary. Yeah, I think Dorothy, uh, or maybe Petra should get the glass KO. I know I'm just talking myself in circles, but bro, it's a big, it's a big commitment, okay? These boss kills matter. Okay, large bullion. Cool, cool, cool. Let's uh, just move the rest of our dudes. He's almost done. He's got four units left, I'm pretty sure. And there is a cleric. I gotta be careful of that. If we can just, yet again, <laughs> let him in there. <laughs> Soak up all them hits. Should be okay. Uh, Petra close behind as well. I hope he can survive that many hits. Oh God, I don't think he can. Oh God, no. Look at that. They're gonna double him, crud! Oh god. I gotta use the Divine Pulse, bro. Okay, let's move Caspar out of the way. So, how many- Oh, we have three charges left. Alright, big misplay. I gotta actually turn this on. And instead, tank with, uh, Ferdinand. I don't like him. Frankly, he won't shut the crud up about being a noble. Every level up. <laughs> a noble. Did, did, did that, and it's like, yeah, bro, you're not clever. We get it. You're, you're stinking rich or whatever. God, it's- I guess understandable, his dad is like a high-ranking politician in the Ardest Ardestian? Ardestian? I don't remember. Sounds like more Ardain from Xenoblade 2, which is the last RPG I've played on this console, which is probably why I'm getting the two mixed up. Ooh, he doubles us. Why is my team so slow? Oh, dump, his lance is broken. He has no weapon. Well, Ferdinand's out of this fight. Holy crap. <laughs> I did not, uh, did not think of that. So let's see... Man, we're just not getting what we need here. Petra can definitely double this guy, right? Aw, oh, not even close, bro. Okay. That's an issue. Let's get Hubert in there just to, like, soften him up a little. You know. Oh, wait. Got an archer's, too. So, the, the battalion that you have isn't the same, like, weapon as the team you have with. That's a little interesting. Oh, this guy also has a key on him? What? Did I read that right, or is it just he can also steal stuff? Which currently, we don't even have a thief. So we gotta work on that. Yeah, we didn't get any drops from that. Weird. Okay. That is interesting, but oh god. <laughs> Every time you select Dorothy, or uh, Bernie, it's just, oh no. God. All right, so I tried to get through this map with minimal healing, but it still took us literally 11 turns. Holy crap, bro. And because we're next to Dorothea, we healed up. I planned that, I planned that, I totally did. All right, so we're gonna bait out that, um, What's it called? Why does she have a sword? Oh yeah, she has her training sword. We're gonna bait out that uh that one archer dude, but we gotta be careful. So if we also aggro the mage, we'll be in a lot of hurt. Uh god. Uh, I can do that with Hubert actually. So is there a tile where I can nah. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to like aggro the archer without the bishop. But they have so much range, it's just not gonna happen. So don't know if he's a bishop or not. The 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 stats or not the stats, but the up. Uh, classes in this game. I don't frankly know what the dump they do yet, so I'm gonna get a lot of the names mixed up, but that's fine. We ain't worried about that! Get out of my face! Woo! God. Once we get him back on an axe, though, holy crud, he's gonna tear up. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't like this! I don't like this at all. Crap. I feel like I'm being baited. Oh, no, we're totally fine. Sick. Alright, so we can sit right here, and nothing bad's even gonna happen. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. He literally can't even counterattack. Dang, if... Archers can't get a... Uh, what's it called in Heroes? God, I haven't played Fire Emblem Heroes in so long, sorry. Uh, like, close counter? Or, no. I think it was distant counter and uh, close combat. That was it. If they can't, like, get the skill that allows them to uh, counterattack from any range. Archers ain't gonna be that good. Which would be a shame, because I usually like uh, using archers a lot. Inez from uh, Sacred Stones. I was a big fan of, but, you know, it kind of want Bernie to poke. Unless, like, the, um, is this a, no, it's just a heal tile. I think it gives him one defense and one resistance, right? That's what those symbols got to mean, right? I don't know, but it doesn't seem to give him incredibly high stats. So we should be able to just sit on the outskirts and poke a little bit with magic because for some reason this guy just won't get at, okay, nice. Won't get off of his throne. I guess he is kind of cornered, though. It is a canyon. Geographically, you can't really move a lot there. And, oh, Dory's pretty good, dude. That passive 
I like it. What can I say? So uh, this is a little risky, but if we can just one round them, I think we should be fine. And eh, not really, but ooh, we got a 4% to get a crit. And knowing my luck, that's a 57% to get a crit. So here it comes. Dumb, okay. <laughs> Look like a giant idiot now. Healed up a little bit, but that's totally okay. We'll um, we'll get Bernie that EXP, I guess. Actually, no, let's uh, how much damage can we do to this dude? Uh, not a lot, crud. I also gotta keep my weapon durability uh, in check as well. So I'll just let um, Petra do this. Poor archers, will they ever actually hit? And she's already, what? Rank C in swords. You gotta be trolling me, bro. Oh my gosh, you gonna be killing them. All right. So our, our game plan is pretty, this map's basically over, right? I don't know, I, I like hyped myself up. I'm like, all right, it's the first real fight, John. This ain't gonna be easy, bro. This was laughable, holy crap. Yeah, you do not wanna like separate your army over here. <laughs> no reason to. I mean, maybe in the harder difficulties, keep in mind. Still playing on easy, but it still took us 15 turns, because holy crap, these maps are big. But uh, let's let everybody get a little shot in here. I'll, I'll do this. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, she she out of magic uses? She is. Crap, that's not good. All right, uh, Hubert, you're up first. Lower his defenses with uh, Meyer, if you will. Sending these brats instead of the knights means they've underestimated me. Big mistake. <laughs> and I mean big. I don't, I don't know about that, bro. You're, you're done for. Even though you have a uh, battalion and all that. But ooh, nice. Getting closer to level five on. What was your name again? I don't know. <laughs> I know his name's Hubert. I'm poking fun. But who do we get the last hit? <sighs> if only she could do a little more damage. Bummer. I would totally like it to be her. The fact that Bernie beat the strongest bandit would be so funny. But no, it's gonna be. Petra with uh, Grounder. Okay, let's check the 18% crit. Bro, if we get this. <laughs> we actually got it! There we go! Bam! Oh my. 42. Uh, I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. Who, who the heck is he talking about? Talking about the, red, the guy with the red mask? Huh? I am greater now. Yeah, you sure are. Holy crud, dude. That was fun to watch. Thank you for leading us, Professor. Though I suppose there was no way we could lose to a familiar foe. In any case, something about this canyon feels inexplicably strange. Yeah, the music was weird. Man, 15 turns. God dang, I should have done this. Oh, she got MVP. All right, not bad. Man, I didn't get to kill anybody. Hmm, <laughs> this field trip sucked. <laughs> but this place. Weird. It smells. Oh. Hmm. I wonder why it is that you recall this place. Eh. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. <laughs> I, I, I'm not scared of girls at all. Um. Yeah. I'm. Uh. I just. I just don't like canyons. Do you think you can lie to me? It saddens me to know you wish to hide such things from me. Oh, dang, I'm sorry. I actually feel bad now. I was just, I was just joking, girl, sorry. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. But it still feels familiar. Weird. Maybe it's, yeah, have you been here before? Or do you not remember? Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit, I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor, I was wondering where you were. It's about time we headed back to the monastery. I want to steer more rocks. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. 
So, this place is pretty important to Sothis. But why? I am not sure myself. Okay. Yes, I am grateful all the same. Works for me. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. <laughs> I'll try my best. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. On our way out, I had the chance to observe the Red Canyon. Did you notice anything, Professor? You're right, I did notice something. It's not even red! Of course, I expected as much. The area was covered in ruins, each more curious than the last. They did not match the architectural style of any era or culture within the Empire, or across all of Fodlan for that matter. That can only mean one thing. The Valley Civilization must have flourished and fallen in the distant past, long before the Empire was established. Who do you think lived there? Hmm, probably Sothis. And that's it. It was Sothis in her big blue house. But, uh, oh. <laughs> Subterranean <laughs> mole people! <laughs> it's possible they weren't even human. Hmm. Perhaps their remnants still influence this world. Spooky. So Red Canyon, pretty important. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. Uh, I mean, you could have just... I'm sorry, I know it's a game, but like, bro, we could have just probably resolved that peacefully. I'm just... I feel like this was literally just homework, so you could train more people to kill in your name, Miss Raya. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Uh, okay. I can do that, I guess. Good. I have high expectations for you. Wait a second. Did we just get support with her? Does that mean we can, you know, what? By the way, how was your time in Xanadu? Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanadu could only have been a temporary haven. Long ago, the Divine Seros received a revelation from the Goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The Goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the Goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Cool. My dad never told me any of that crud, so I don't want to believe you. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Saros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is the game gonna keep doing this? Whoever could be the goddess that lived in the Red Canyon that Shofis remember? This is... What if it's actually not her, though? That'd be an interesting plot twist. Okay, I'll shut up. But... Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. That is also a possibility. Crud. Maybe she's just like a magical person that happened to live there before, and she knows about the goddess. That's why she has this weird power. Whatever it is. I guess her weird power is literally just being inside. Oh, that's... Uh, if oh. so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Lady, I don't freaking... What would make her happier? All right. Because if we can support with, like, characters that aren't just from the houses, I kind of want to... You know, 
Does that mean Sothis could be a playable character? I don't know. Okay. Who knows? Maybe a zombie? Yeah. Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. And now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> 